Jared Coker Urbex uploaded this video on March 6, 2022. It's titled, Caught and Arrested at Huge Abandoned Factory. In the video, we see Jared approaching a large abandoned dog treat factory. The outside is desolate and full of old, decaying cars. Jared enters the building by going through a broken window. He begins making his way through the building, finding old rooms full of tools and machinery. This is where he hears the first strange noise above him. Oh, the locker room. See, that's what I'm talking about. Every now and then there's just weird noises and bangs, but just like last time, it's a windy day, so... Despite this, Jared continues his urban exploration through the factory. He says that he's afraid of running into people, as when he was there before, he saw two people walking around. He walks deeper into the factory before finding himself stuck on the upper levels. During this time, he looks out a window and makes an unsettling discovery. There's a car right there. I can't figure that should be too much of a problem for me though, because the way I'm going to go out is completely circling around here like I did to get in, so... Oh, they're out of their car. Oh, they're coming in the gate. They're coming in the gate. The man in the red car opens the gate and drives into the compound. Jared is getting nervous at this point, realizing that the man could potentially catch him. He makes his way down a large ramp which takes him to the ground level. Jared sees the man fairly close to him and decides to try and escape a different way, but as he's moving, he hears something that absolutely terrifies him. Oh my god. Was that a gunshot? I think it was. He had something in his hand too, it must have been a gun. Believing that the man has a gun, Jared is beginning to panic. He continues to make his way through the factory, still unsure of where the man could be lurking. He decides to maneuver through a window before making his escape, until things get very bad. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Who else is with you? Oh, it's just me. My lady, she scared me to death. Okay, get over there now. What? Sit down. Get your handcuffs. Huh? Put them on. Got it? Okay. Either I can put them on or you can put them on. Take your pick. I've never put on handcuffs before. Here, put them, just put them on each side of you. How's that? Well, put them in front of you. That way you carry them in front, okay? What's going to happen? What? What's going to happen is the police is going to come. And then you take your name and get you for criminal trespassing. It's nothing these days. A lot better than me shooting you, isn't it? Was that what I heard? Yeah. What'd you shoot at? Shoot it. <laughs> See people, I shoot at them. If they no... run, you shoot. There you go. As the man brings Jared back to the front of the factory, he makes multiple jokes about shooting people who have trespassed prior. Jared does his best to defuse the tension, to which the man says that if he sees anyone else, he will probably end up shooting them. He'd shoot them in a heartbeat, he says. That's just life. The video comes to an end as Jared tells us what happened after the camera cut. Jared gets in the man's car and they drive to the front of the factory where, after an hour, the cops finally show up. They take Jared away to the jail, and he luckily gets away with his life. The same can be said for other trespassers who, after Jared had been taken away, were in fact shot by the man. 
I want to extend a warning for this content in particular. Antoinette Christine Cayadito is a Native American girl who disappeared from her home in Gallup, New Mexico on April 6, 1986. Although law enforcement officials believe her to be deceased, she is still officially listed as a missing person and her case remains open. One year after Caedito's disappearance, the Gallup Police Department received a frantic phone call. The caller was a young girl who claimed to be Caedito, saying that she was in Albuquerque. Here is the audio of that clip. Before the call could be traced, an angry adult voice could be heard shouting, Who said you could use the phone? Followed by the girl screaming and the sounds of a scuffle, after which the phone call was cut off. Cayadito's mother, Penny, believed the voice to be her daughter's, but could not recognize the adult's voice. On the subject of 911 audio recordings, here is another one recovered and posted to the internet. This one, I warn you, is very disturbing. The audio comes from an old woman named Ruth Price. She is calling the police after a strange man is seen lurking outside of her house. Yeah, What's the problem, ma'am? Oh, well, there's some guy been uh, taking the place out. Oh. Well, he went in the back. I have an apartment in the back, and he said he was looking for a guy. And he comes to my door and yeah. and uh, said he's uh, looking for an apartment. So I'm real, I live alone, and I'm an old lady. Mm -hmm. where, where is he now, ma'am? I don't have no idea. <laughs> the full story of Ruth Price and this call is still uncertain. Questions began to arise after the audio was leaked, people asking, was it real or was it all a hoax? Here are some of the common theories that listeners have come up with. The call is a part of a training exercise for 911 operators. The entire situation is just a reenactment. The call is real and not a reenactment and not a fake training example, but in fact is 100% authentic. What we're actually hearing is Ruth panicking over an attempted break-in and not her brutal demise. There's a lot of information out there on this story. If it interests you, I'd highly suggest digging deeper. Mandy ASMR22 is a TikToker who has been posting increasingly concerning videos. In this particular one, we see footage of some sort of security camera pointing out towards a shed. A strange figure approaches it before this happens. The figure then seemingly disappears off camera, but the disturbing voice continues before the figure returns. Another security camera video shows Mandy's front yard. Her caption reads, What do you want? 
the figure from before returns. The figure continues to walk around the front yard before setting off a motion light. This startles the figure at first, causing it to stumble back into the darkness. While Mandy continues to capture videos of this strange being, she is still unsure of what it is. Some commenters have expressed their theories. Kimberly Ann says, I grew up in the Appalachian Mountains. That's old Letty. My grandma said, don't let old Letty get you. Lock the doors and if you go out at night and she calls, run. Bad Boy Oliver is a video created by Mr. Friend. It begins with a bus pulling up and a character stepping out. His name is Oliver. He's on his way to see his aunt and uncle, and now that he's eight years old, he's old enough to go on his own. As Oliver approaches the house, he becomes worried that his aunt and uncle won't recognize him since they haven't seen him in so long. Despite this, his aunt and uncle are delighted to see him. They show Oliver to his room, and sitting on the dresser is a doll named Mr. Bobo. Oliver is afraid of the doll and begins talking to it. That night, as Oliver is trying to fall asleep, creepy things begin to happen. The next morning, Oliver wakes up and Mr. Bobo is in his usual spot. He dismisses the night before as a bad dream and plays with his toy, eventually tossing it at Mr. Bobo in anger. The doll falls and Oliver notices something strange. Uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Bobo. Please don't be mad. Huh? What's that? After discovering the camera, Oliver's uncle shackles him to the ceiling, Mr. Bobo watching intently from the other side of the room. The video then ends, leaving us with the uncertainty of what will happen to Oliver. The following video comes from a user named Haley Moore. At the start of the video, we see a little girl through the lens of some sort of surveillance camera. It is past her bedtime and she is sitting on a bunk bed playing with her dolls. She is interrupted by the sound of a lullaby going off. She hops down from the bed and looks underneath it. Someone or something has seemingly dragged the little girl under the bed. She calls for her mother in fear before the mother hears her crying. The mother is confused and brings the girl outside the room. Haley has made a follow-up video two days after. She explains that they have not been in the room since the incident. She cautiously opens the door and enters before looking under the bed.
In this clip, we can see Haley looking under her daughter's bed when she comes across a strange doll in the darkness. In the slowed down footage, it appears as if the doll moves on its own. Haley stands up and quickly leaves the room. So for those of you saying that the doll is mechanical and that's how it moved, that doll is plastic, that doll is stuffed. I checked, I looked at Amazon. There is no way that thing should have moved like that. As of right now, it is uncertain whether Haley and her family are still in the house. I've tried to find updates, but it seems like her original count has been deleted. Regardless, I hope for her daughter's sake that they were able to find peace. Alyssa Vanilla is a YouTuber who has been traveling alone in her van. In this particular video, Alyssa is packing her van for the day when a man pulls up to her on an ATV. He asks her if she has water and everything before stating that he's a local who routinely checks in on people in the area. My wife is, my, my children are, so if you need a shower, <laughs> you're welcome to, you know, be fine. Um, probably would work better since you're a female. It would probably work better if you came by while I was there a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Just so my wife gets to know you, so she doesn't think there's something stupid going on. Right. But, you know, if you need a shower or something, the man says that his name is Johnny and that he lives nearby. He mentions that Alyssa is free to stop by and use his shower and fill her water jugs up. He then leaves. In the follow-up, Alyssa is relaying what just happened when she hears muffled male voices. Uncomfortable by this, she decides to do her laundry and leave. Unfortunately for her, Johnny decides to come back at this time. guy uh -huh. in the mountain up there that is watching you with binoculars. Okay, well, that's <laughs> unnerving. Um, well, I guess I won't be staying. Well, it's not that you can't stay. Just, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. The side of the mountain is safe. Really? Yes. Okay. He's driving a older Dodge pickup, hmm. and he told me he comes out here and offers water uh -huh. to people. Mm -hmm. But I would stay away from. Him. Johnny then points to a white truck in the distance, belonging to the man with binoculars, who is supposedly watching her. She decides to leave, and Johnny continues to stare at her very unnervingly. Do you need anything? No. Okay. No. Alyssa comments on him staring at her before he leaves. She then drives far away. Luckily for her, this appears to be the end of her encounters with Johnny. Since posting the video, some of the commenters have pointed out that Johnny asking her for details, such as how long she's been living in a van and other details, were his way of trying to decipher whether how many people know about her or would notice if she were to end up missing. Another person has pointed out that when Johnny asks to show her the white truck, he mentions that she would have to get out of her van and closer to his ATV in order to see it properly. This was perhaps Johnny's attempt at being able to grab at her. He also tried to entice her and lower her defenses by talking about his wife and children back at home. 
Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you enjoyed it and would like to see content similar, please make sure to subscribe.